Hi everyone, my name's Kujalina. Oh my, and I have something in my throat right now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sure you have noticed already in the first, what, 11 seconds of this video that my recording looks a little bit different today. And that is because my laptop is currently on 9% charge. So I had to move my recording setup from here to here on my bed in order to accommodate the charging cable all the way up three stories worth of storage bins that I call my recording setup. But you know, as the mature 17 year old that I am, I decided to make up for this little change by covering my entire bed in stuffed animals for you all to look at in the background. Yay! I love stuffed animals. Like, you know the scene in Pitch Perfect at the beginning when she's first coming into college and, like, that girl's got the whole cart of stuffed animals and it falls over and everyone laughs and thinks it's so funny? That is going to be me when I go to college, but... Anyway, stuffed animals aside, the real point of this video is I had my first football game last night and, yeah, our halftime show went great and all, but you all don't want to hear about that. What you're going to want to hear about is what happened afterwards, and it was absolutely terrifying. So we have finished the game. Our school lost, as usual, because our football team is not great. But anyway, we were all headed back to the marching band buses, and I was, like, walking along, getting ready to get on my bus. And I'm about to go through the door, and suddenly one of the freshmen in my section just charges down the stairs, pushing people to the side on the bus so he can get out. And I was like, what's wrong? And he's like, there's a bug. And I was like, Okay, there's a bug, and I looked inside, and there's, like, this big bug on the ceiling, but I figured, you know, it's just, like, a moth or something, and I'm like, are you afraid of bugs? And he's like, yes, I am terrified of bugs, and so I was like, okay, 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 we'll stay out here until someone gets it, so I, like, hug him to my side, like, trying to make him feel better, you know, just waiting for the bus driver to get the big bug out of the bus, like, this is insane, how can you be this scared of bugs? And, like, a minute later, he walks down the stairs, and I, like, ask him, hey, did you get the bug out? Because, like, I just wanted to get my freshman on the bus. And he goes, yeah, can you see it anywhere on me? So I look, and right here, uh, sitting on his shirt, is this bug, and I swear, it's like this big or something, like it was huge, and it was black, and it looked like it was like covered in armor, and it had these beady red eyes, and I literally just like scream, and I'm like, nope, 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 and I just start running down the opposite side of the bus all the way to the end and my freshmen's followed me and we're both just like noping all the way away from the bus because it was the most terrifying bug I have ever seen in my entire life and it was like everyone on the bus saw us like we went and got back on the bus and everyone's just laughing at me like ah, like look did you see yourself running that was ridiculous and then someone said it was a cicada and that explained everything like when I was seven or eight or something it was like this big cicada year or something and there were cicadas everywhere and you know I was going to try to find the year and give you a more accurate age but if you google year of the cicada into google it does not give you very much help unfortunately but you know I was little and I did the same thing when I was younger one time I was running around in my swimsuit outside and I was going to come inside and my mom's like there's something on your shoulder and I look and there's this giant cicada sitting on my shoulder and I did the same thing. I started screaming and just running like this thinking that that would get the cicada off of me like holy flashback. I thought I got over that but it turns out I am still terrified of cicadas. Like I've always told people I'm not really afraid of anything but Last night, I proved myself wrong. I am terrified of cicadas like the rest of any normal society should be because those things are terrifying. I swear they could kill you in your sleep if they really wanted to. Oh my gosh, they can't be coming back this year. I don't think I can survive. It's going to be awful. But anyway, I hope you all never have to see a cicada in your entire life because it is literally the worst thing that could ever, ever happen to you. So anyway, I guess I should probably get going because I ran home from school and decided to make this really, really quick because I wanted to tell you about the horrifying experience I had yesterday and I have to go somewhere soon. So I am going to be going and serving the community dinner at my church. So basically in between me binge eating on like 5,000 desserts, I'll maybe serve a couple people food because you know the food's the most important part. And People bring some good desserts sometimes, people, so I'm going to be binge eating my little heart out tonight, and I hope you all find something just as excellent to do, and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. 
Bye.